In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I want to show you two little searches that can really boost your usage of Evernote. Hello and welcome to episode 73 of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you two searches that you can save into your favourites list of Evernote that can really save you a lot of time. Now one of the things that I find I'm the way I use Evernote is when I'm working on a specific note, I find that I'm using that note a lot throughout the week. Now, this is usually because I'm uh, developing a project or I'm brainstorming an idea or I'm working on something like my book where I'm entering the note quite often because all my research notes are in there. And that's one of the reasons why I'm in and out of those particular notes. Now, what I have done and what I will show you, what I'm going to show you today is I have set up two saved searches in my favorites list. So I'm going to show you how to do this so that I can access those notes that I've been working on most recently really, really quickly. And this can save you so much time, particularly if you've got a lot of projects on. Um, some projects that you just put off for a couple of weeks or a project that you may think, right, I'm going to restart working on that next month or whatever. But these were, this way, by saving these searches, you can save yourself an awful lot of time. Okay, we're going to go into, into Evernote in a moment, but before we do that, I'd just like to ask if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. It really helps us to get noticed by other people so we can help other people. Okay, let's get into Evernote and let me show you how to set up these amazing searches. Right, one of the places, and I showed you this before, that I get all this information about searching in Evernote is to use this particular help page from Evernote, which is how to use Evernote's advanced search syntax. So we have down here um, all the various things that you can do, in title, notebook, any. The two that I'm particularly interested in today is the created and the updated. The updated one is the most important one because this is the one that I would use on a regular basis. This is the one that is going to help you to find the documents that you actually want. Now, of course, you can use the created ones if you want. And all you type in is created day, uh, day and then dash. It's not actually minus, it's dash and then two. Or you can actually have notes that are created on a specific date if you wish, which would be entitled here. So these are the two that I'm particularly interested in today. So let's go into my Evernote and uh, here we have one here and I've got my search up here. What I'm going to do is go into all notes and my search is up here. Now I actually cheated because I actually <laughs> I actually just uh, copied and pasted that updated day minus two. It just saves time for, for this recording. Um, but what I want to do is day seven because I'm looking for the ones that I've worked on in the last seven days. So I'm going to hit return and that's going to bring up everything that I've worked on in the last seven days. So 14th of October. Today is actually the 21st of October. So that is perfect. Now, I've shown you this before, but what I really, it's really rather complex and I really wish Evernote would just add like down here um, something like um, save search, but it doesn't do that. What you have to do is you have to go into your edit and this is on a Mac and I, I honestly, I apologize. I cannot remember how to do this on a Windows. Somebody has explained it to me, but I cannot remember. We go down to weirdly find and then save search. So I'm going to hit save and now that can save. So uh, last seven days and I hit OK. And that note is now saved. Now the beauty of this is I've got my saved searches down here 
Uh, I've got the last seven days here. And what you do then is you just drag it over to your shortcuts and now that's saved there. So let's go back to, I want to do the notes that I've worked on in the last day. So the last 24 hours, I change that to one, hit return. And again, we have to go into edit, find, save search, and then last day. <laughs> I'm just gonna, last day. That's now saved. So I can go into, click on the saved, uh, the search box and it'll come in the last day. So I can just drag that over and put that there. So now what I've got is if I go into my inbox here, so I've got a totally different set of notes, I can go into my last day and it's gonna bring up the last two, the two notes that I've worked on in the last 24 hours. And the last seven days is gonna bring in to me all the notes that I've worked on in the last seven days. And that's essentially what you're doing. You're, you, you don't really want to be looking at the notes that you've created because that essentially would probably be your inbox. What's more important is the updated in the last seven days because these are the ones that are going to really help you to totally un capture the notes that you've worked on in the last seven days. And as I say, this can save you so much time because you just click, what note was I working on yesterday? Ah, here we go and it's done and you've got it saved in your shortcuts. Incidentally, what I've noticed is the shortcuts don't seem to sync across to your iOS or phone device. So you do need to set this up again into your phone devices, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So there you go. That's how to save your last seven days, things that you've worked on in the last seven days. One more thing before we do that, I came across, as I was preparing for this, I came across a really, really neat little trick that Evernote does for you. If you said, um, so if I typed in worked on in the last uh, seven days, what's gonna happen is that Evernote is gonna tell you, like here, note search updated since and then 14. If I click on that, it changes it for you and then you can do it. So if you can't remember the actual search term, Evernote will actually suggest the search term for you. That is really cool. Okay, hopefully you found this episode useful. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Music